So continuing to field questions here for U.S. Simili, student asks a question about, he says his exam is in about four weeks, and he says he took two of the online NBMEs for step one, and his scores are a lot lower than they should be, that he wants them to be. Uh, how can he get his scores up as much as possible in four weeks? Look, students will ask this type of question frequently. Okay, there's going to be some sort of iteration of, OMG, my scores are low. How do I get my score up as much as possible? And then, of course, you watching this clip, you might be a week out, two weeks out, four weeks out, eight weeks out. So the point is, how can we get your score up as much as possible during dedicated cutting out all of the horse shit, okay? I will give you a very concise answer here. And especially if you've been following my content for a while and you think you know the answer, just I will provide you some value here, okay? So before we get started, allow me to be an asshole like I usually am. Tell you to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Help grow this channel. Share with one of your friends prepping for your simile. Help bring awareness to this channel. Hit the like button. Hit the bell if you want notifications. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Link is down below. Find me on Telegram. Recently created a Telegram group and channel. The links are down below. Now let me address the fucking question as far as you're getting NBMEs that are a lot lower than you'd like them to be, and your exam's in four weeks, two weeks, it's in eight weeks. OMG, how do we get your score up as much as possible in the least amount of time? Now, those of you who've been following my content, and I carry zero entitlement for any of you having seen my prior clips, but I've inculcated to the point of annoyance that, yes, you need to assiduously memorize the NBME content, okay? So for step one, 20 through 30, for 2CK, the clinical mastery series forms, and uh, as well as NBMEs 6 through 11, now... The value point comes down to if that's what you're doing, you say, okay, Michael, well, I've been focusing on some of the NBME content and my scores like aren't going up. Uh, so what am I going to do? And the answer is you have to still fucking focus on the NBME content. Life's a Venn diagram, okay, with regard to the USMLE. Every resource in theory could provide benefit in a different regard. If you were to, e.g., be going through Kaplan QBank or Amboss during your dedicated, waste of fucking time, okay? You could be going through UWorld, but it's not the best, if you, best use of your time compared to the NBME exams. Now, even if your scores aren't where you want them to be and you feel that they're not going up, or you can just objectively say, they're not fucking going up, what do I do? You need to have conviction in the point. This is where I can attempt to provide some, some value in that giving you the ability to just focus and hone in on the NBME content and not worry that it's the wrong approach, okay? It's normal to have doubts and you say, well, I'm not really like, am I doing the right thing? I'm providing you the conviction. I'm, fu I'm functioning as your shield to let you know it's the right fucking thing to do that, yes, you should be focusing on the NBME content. That's the greatest shot you've got at getting your score up as much as possible during dedicated. Realize that people throughout the world will do UWorld up until their exam and they'll fucking fail the USMLE. People fail the USMLE all the time. Okay, I'm not trying to create fear, but just recognize that no matter what some people do, their scores aren't going to go up as much as they'd like. So if we were to say, well, what can I possibly do to maximize my chance of getting the greatest score augmentation possible in the least amount of time? And the answer is, once again, it's going through the NBME content, 20 through 30, memorizing those for step one, and then for 2CK, the clinical mastery series forms, as well as NBME 6 through 11, okay? You know the deal. I'm going to continue making more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.